Big oh, small mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're doing today. We got Sweet. Chris Thole and Uncut Angling. We're hanging big small mouths. We've escaped the fog using some lucky craft pointers, trolling them oh, behind man. the boat. And there's a monster <laughs> small mouth. <laughs> Sweet. That's what we're doing all day today. Small mouths, pike, walleye. Stick around. We're going to use jerk baits to get down, lots of line out. We're going to be coming over these reefs just cranking them and bouncing bottom so that they're kind of moving erratic as soon as they hit that rock. And that's usually when the bass pick them up as soon as you feel that bait hit the top of the reef. So that's one way to do it. Let's do this, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so we're pretty lucky on Rainy Lake here. Uh, we we have uh, a Lake Master chip in here we're using. It's got one foot increments, so it shows a lot of detail on the map. And we're able to bring the boat over a lot of these reefs. And if I zoom out a little bit here, you'll be able to see, I've highlighted depths, and that's a real neat tool you can use when you're on the water. Because you can, right now I have anything under seven feet, and that's, that's because the baits we're gonna be using are gonna be able to hit bottom in seven feet when we're actually trolling them. So we're gonna be banging bottom. So now all these areas that I've highlighted are areas that we can pinpoint and fish or just kinda drive over with a trolling motor and check out that way. We're starting with cranks here, because if the fish are aggressive, there's no point. Slow roasting them. Chris has set me up with a $6 Rapella, and he's got a $40 Japanese bait on of some sort, so. Well, I wanna catch them. I know what you're messing around with. Long cast, Chris? Yeah, let, let a long cast out, and then probably another quarter of that distance, extra line. Hear how technical these bass guys are, right. right? A long cast, and then long another cast. quarter of that right. further, beyond that point. Well educated. How hard am I hitting my rod here? Just the odd whack or pretty hard? Pretty often, yeah, pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, give her a good, give her a good go. Can I give it too much action or probably not? No, you can't. Go a little faster. 1.5 the miles. fish right there, boys. Fish on? Yeah, baby. This one feels a little better. It's got more weight for sure. And he's starting to come up. There he is, way out there. It's a big fish. I want a $40 Japanese goes. lure, Chris. I got lots for you, bud. This is a big fish. This one's gonna be at least three and a half. Look at him, he's got lots of meat. He's a friggin' airliner coming out of the water. This is awesome. Here he comes. Oh, That's a good wow. Fish. Yeah. So right on. He's got a big belly on him. You can tell he's been feeding quite a bit. Look how big that belly is <laughs> on that fish. This has gotta be over four pounds. This thing's a beauty. He was sitting right on the top of that reef. Look at this thing. Just a beauty. Cool. Right on, man. Let's get some more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. She'll kick no problem here. Oh, yeah. Right <laughs> on. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, so here's my little variety box of crankbaits I bring with in the fall time. It's because you never know. If they're not going to go on the big baits, one day they might not go. So you got to have You do variety. have more of the big baits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, you do. I want one. Okay, well we can we can switch up. I got a couple different colors here for you. This one's pretty similar to the one I'm using, and they're real loud in the fall time. They're real loud. This is another Lucky Craft, just a smaller profile, and it's almost the same length, but you can tell the difference just by the width. This bait looks so much smaller than the ones we're using, but they're like nearly the exact same length. So something so small, like just making your bait a little wider, can really change your day of fishing. So, anyways, Aaron's got one of those now. I hope he can actually get on a fish today. Coming up into 12 feet the boat is, so when our baits start coming up over this, expect to get hit. Got 12 pound suffix deep cranking line on here. It's a sinking mono. Sinking mono or is it floral? That's right, sinking mono. Sinking mono. And I use 10 pound power pro for almost all my smallmouth applications, so I was kind of surprised when Chris set me up with this, but I guess it makes the baits go down that much deeper. Now we don't have to have that much line out. Plus I guess you, you get to a maximum diving depth pretty quick, right? That's so right, yeah. You gotta adjust your line, because otherwise you're just not gonna get that bait down any deeper. And the stretch on this mono helps you keep the fish pinned when you're fighting them. They That's jump. the big part of it, yeah. It's yeah. definitely when the boat's moving forward a mile and a half an hour, and that fish is cranking the other way against you. You want that stretch, you gotta have the rod. It just all works together so nice, just like the perfect little setup. If you can dial it all in and get used to using it. Yeah. When you first switch from braid to this mono, it feels so weird. Yeah, it's you're, spongy. Yeah, it's just like, what? Like, I have to give her so much, but that's why we're giving these really aggressive jerks and, you know, just like that, you want to give them real aggressive jerks. So mm -hmm. that bait's actually moving and twitching in the water like this instead of just being boring, right? So I'm tapping the top of this reef right now. It came up to about six feet. 
hoping to catch one on this one. Oh, this is a nice pass. Oh, this is a nice pass. <laughs> Chris is happy. Yeah, baby. Fish on, boys. Sweet. CT strikes again. Here he comes. He's gonna come airborne right away. What do I do? Do I keep my line in? Yeah, keep fishing. You I, need to. I can't catch a bass. Yeah, just a little guy. Nice brown colors to him. He needs to grow up a little bit. Yeah, let's supersize that, baby. <clears throat> I'm just gonna throw that off the side of the boat and let that spin down. Now we can use that as reference point for doing a couple passes on this one. Since we know there's some good fish on here, we haven't even hit it correctly, so. Mm -hmm. If we can hit it right and a couple passes in a row, we're bound to catch something pretty decent, I think. So now you can see that buoy there. We've got a reference point. Here we go, got him. And that reference point is marking some fish, apparently. Cool, it's another fish. Yeah, I mean, we're not lacking the fish. We got pliers right here. It's so nice to have pliers everywhere in the boat so you're not scrambling. And there we go. Good pass, Aaron, good driving. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, buddy, right on. That's right where those fish were. Right on. How does that one feel? It feels better, actually, it's staying heavy. It's staying heavy. Okay, I'm Just trying to make you. sure I don't get caught on that back edge of the boat there. Chris, this is a heavy fish. Okay, good, good, I like heavy. Ooh, it's a big gator. It's a big gator. It's a big gator, baby. <laughs> That is a nice big Woo! bite. Okay, again, another unexpected species here. Very, very cool. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Bring them on in, Aaron. You gonna tuck them in that net? Oh, I'm gonna tuck them in here, all right? Yeah, baby. We'll leave him in the water here for a sec. Right on, man. Looks like he's unhooked himself and rehooked himself and unhooked himself again. Perfect. <laughs> Chris has brought us out here for small mouse. Yeah, man. But that's a big gator. We've already got one walleye. I'm sure we'll get more walleyes yet. Oh yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't doubt it. And uh, that. yeah, just fat. He's down there feeding too. Just thick shoulders. Awesome. Right on, man. But yeah, if you're using cranks, flukes, swim yeah. baits, no matter totally. what, you got pike, big bass, big walleyes, everything just stacked up on these reef eating smelts, and they're waiting waiting for you. Can we catch some more? We can try. Maybe, maybe you will. <laughs> There's one. Ooh, that's a biggie. Yeah, that's a big that's fish. a biggie. That's definitely a big fish. That's a biggie, buddy. Mr. Big. Raid the buoy again, Chris. Oh, man, that buoy's hot. Oh, he's skating now. What do we got here? It's a bigger fish. Whatever it is, got to be a pike or a walleye. Come on, big bass. It's not a bass. <laughs> I just don't think it's a bass, Chris. It's a big walleye. Big walleye. Hey, right on. <laughs> right on, man. Oh, oh he's just barely, barely got that. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Right on. There we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Big starchy walleye. Sweet, man. That's <laughs> awesome. There really is everything on this oh. reef. Okay, incredible. I'm putting her right back in. Whoa! Ugh. Nice, man. Sweet. Green frog, red frog. I'm in, baby. We got no fog. Nothing holding us back here. Back up to 1.5 mile an hour with these. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, boys. Oh yeah, yeah. Fish? Yeah. It's good weight right away, but that's probably because the boat was moving. I don't know right now. Ooh, have that net ready too. Yeah, grab that net. Grab that net. Grab that net. Yep. Chris is calling yep. for the net. There he is. Oh yeah. That's a beauty. That is sick, man. These <laughs> fish are just going hard right now. They're snapping. It feels like you only catch the big ones <sighs> because I don't remember you getting very many fish since your last monster. <laughs> monster! I timed mine out just right, man. This is sweet. Like these things are so fat right now. Oh, oh. nice. Are you in already? Oh, I didn't know we were starting this pass already. Yeah. These cranks, what are these again? 
Yozuri, Taco Bell. Taco Bell? No. Lucky Craft pointers. Oh yeah, they're not even Yozuri's. Not even. Not a deep diving bait. You can see it's a really small lip on there. If we were just normally casting trying to work this reef, the diving depth would be like seven feet on a normal not cast. Not even. No. Not even? Yeah, exactly. Like probably you're, five feet. You're making like an 80, 90 foot cast at the maximum and your bait's going to finally get down to that maximum casting diving depth for half the cast maybe and then yeah. it's already coming up and you're done. The way we're trolling like this, I'm casting out probably 80, 90 feet and then Chris has me letting out probably another 30, 40 feet of line. I'm getting down to that maximum casting depth and just keeping it down there. That's right, yeah. You're in that strike zone much longer with these crankbaits, which is so nice compared to using a plastic. A plastic's great if you know exactly where the fish are and you can sit right on top of them. But for us today, we're doing a little looking around, trying a whole bunch of different spots. So what we're doing is we're just running over these crankbaits that are sitting in that strike zone. We're coming up over these reefs and just bouncing right off those rocks and we're getting bit. A big fish might not be grouped up with a bunch of fish that you'd mark easily. It could be just cruising, it could be on its own, it could That's be right. right against the bottom, you're not going to mark it. We're covering the whole reef with this trolling and we're going to contact that big fish with these crankbaits, especially because he's likely to be aggressive in the fall like this. Yeah, exactly. And it's not only the reefs that we're fishing too, and it's cool because we're coming over these reefs and we're going to, we keep the boat moving over the deep water, right? Like we're over 30 feet mm -hmm. and our baits are still down in that 7 to 10 foot range, which means there's definitely suspending fish that are off those reefs that are um, able to come up and see those baits and hit them too, right? So that's not ne necessarily a, a fish you'd target with plastic. No, so you'd just, never be fishing that yeah. even. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, buddy. In deep water. It was over the deep water. It is. Was it big? Yeah. It feels big. Like this fish was way off that structure. I don't even know why I was still trolling. We are probably in 25 feet. I don't want it to jump again. I feel like I'm not going to get lucky if he jumps again. Did you see him way out there? I was looking down, but you see yeah, him. Man, a big he, fish. He, He's coming up again. He's trying to come up again. Don't let that fish come out of the water. Look at this. I put my rod all the way down, and he's still trying to jump. Nice scoop, baby. <laughs> There's a fatty. <laughs> Some pliers, Aaron? I got her. There's another nice big smallmouth. <laughs> yeah, weeb! All day long. That's huge. Yep, big smallies. Everything stacked up in these reefs. Look at that thing. There's my pal and guide, Crystal. I'm gonna drop this one back in the water here. Big, fat, rainy lake smallmouth. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Cool. That's a great day. Doesn't get much better than that. No, it's pretty good. Let's get out of here. All right. <laughs>